All right, this is James back with more farm malls. I'll show you some kind of rework on my three point hitch. If you look back in my other three point hitch videos, I just had a chain with a D hook going down, down here, two little metal brackets, a little chain on it from both sides. Well, that's how I brought the tractor. I had a track, man, a track about a month now to 140. Well, them chains worked fine as long as you was doing, pulling something that just rolled along behind you like a bush hog or this. I got some subsoiling I'm going to do on a piece of new ground, probably an acre or something, I'll video that. And, um, you yeah, like running subsoil first. I ain't sure what I'm going to do after that. But anyway, I need to run the subsoil. Them chains worked fine until... You use a piece of tillage equipment. I tried that with a cultivator frame, and I got a little blooper video of that. Well, what happened was it wouldn't go in the ground. When you hit the chains, the, chain, the arms would just flop up and get slack, and then the thing would just dance all over the place. So I need to solid these, solid these uh, hitch arms up. Well, we got an old junk uh so two in or nine in i don't know what tell the difference in them two but but two in or nine in that's what these arms are but they're not they're not factory arms what i mean by factory they didn't come off a tractor you can buy these arms out the market from agri supply or tractor supply the reason i say they're not factory arms is because they don't have the ferguson or the forward part numbers on it they would be, you know, labeled. They have a forward emblem on them, or you would see HF or MF. You Harry Ferguson or Mass Ferguson. Even your early forwards has got HF on these arms because it was a Ferguson system. But um, these come off a of forward. These are your forward arms. This is just a grade eight bolt, five eighths bolt. Put a flat wash on there. I kept these a little loose. I can turn these real easily. When I put a jam nut on, you see there's a little gap in there. I kept these a little loose so it can move a little bit if it needed to. And I reworked and put my tool bar on back on here. And I put that bar back up against there because with them chains, chains not on it, these chains not on this anymore. See, these arms are rubbing this once you hit the bottom and keep letting this down. They were, the chains were just rubbing this bad and we're getting all up against them but i don't think we're gonna have that problem nowhere near as much now i'm being on the solid them up those forward arms well ferguson you see this, this is the original one you got hf wrote on hf stamped on harry ferguson these are not factory arms but anyway let's weld it down here now a little point something out here I toyed with this yesterday. You can do this. I don't like the idea of it, but you could do it. You probably had to remove your square tool, stock toolbar every time. It's going to probably be in the way, doing it that way. But you can go through this hole here with a three-quarter inch bolt and get you a category zero to a category one bushing from Trax Fly and slide on that bolt. Because this is a category one arm and three quarter. I believe it's the category one, the category zero size. And you can bush it up to this arm from the three quarter inch bolt. Like I, said, I believe you have to take this out, this two bar out, every time you use a three point hitch. I would like to keep these on here. Be great. I don't like the fact that bolt breaks off in there. <laughs> I ain't got to tell you what sort of time i had getting that one out you know i didn't get it all the way out i got it from three quarter i, I got that's a five east bolt i got in it now i didn't have a three quarter inch threader to clean the threads out so i just went back that way i've used it very much here i ain't had no problems with it that disc is seven foot so it put a lot of strain on it yeah i did some bush hogging with that too but um we're going to see how it works. I'm going to see if I can figure up some little stabilizer in here. 
So I keep my sides way. That way I put them arms up against it so they can't. It ain't moving much, but that's pretty acceptable. I like to have them stabilized arms in there. You know, most of these tractors don't have the one point hitches on them. I would, I wanted to buy one with a one point hitch, but they were just way out of my price range. I mean, just entirely out of my price range. So we working with what we got here, kind of deal. And I, you know, I paid twenty two hundred dollars for this. I know what a quick hitch is right now, complete one point fast hitch, complete. I got one thirteen hundred dollars for it. I, I just can't see it. I just can't see it. And then I got to get, all, I don't have no implements. I had to either weld the prong on all my implements and rework all my implements or either either that or do a one point to a three point adapter. That's another, oh, first store got a full 500 bucks, 600 bucks. Tack all that on there. I can, I can only make one at a minimum of 250 bucks. That's what a, a Harbor Freight quick hitch and a prong from Ag Supply that's another hundred bucks. So at a minimum two hundred fifty bucks I can make an adapter. But anyway, I gotta buy a, a, a prong for each implement I got. Be quicker just to get this get an adapter going. Uh JT West has a nice example, one of those adapters in action on a disc. Those quick hitch those quick hit one point to a three point quick hitch adapter. Then you got to adapt to your implements. Most of your implements ain't going to work. Like this implement right here probably won't work with the quick hitch because it's not going to fit in here. It might. I don't know. But we're going we're gonna to work. We're going we're gonna to continue using the old homemade three-point hitch. My Super A does not have a homemade three-point hitch. That has a that has an actual aftermarket three-point. This is homemade. As long as it works, it works. Get it solid, it'll be fine. Get it solid. Like I said, working the kinks are good. But that's another idea. You can put your forward arms on. And I'm probably, I'm not going to keep these on here. I went to track supply and going to buy the adjustable arms for it. Did they sell? They are 60 bucks a piece. I said $120 for two arms. I already had these at the house. I wanted, I wanted the adjustable link because that's frozen and the gears rusted out and the whole nine yards. But I'm, I broke this in loose. I can take that pin out and I can screw it right here with the adjustable wrench if I need to adjust it from down here to the bottom. That's why I put them clips on there like that. I don't like them clips. Some are snag them and pull them out. I don't like them, but I'm going to use them on this. But that ain't nothing but a flat piece of metal with a sandmace bolt. That's a flat piece of metal welded to you to your top of your toolbar. With a hole drill through it, with a seven eighths bolt stuck through it, with a hole drilling in the bolt. I got another set of toolbars that don't have that on there. I, that's why I was simply putting the bolt in there at the top, and I just use my other toolbars. But we're gonna try this. If I can get some down pressure on this subsoil in there. I don't look like much. I put a ruler on that too. I've been going in the ground the bank right there. I put a ruler straight across. It's about 14 inches from the point of that tip there. A lot deeper than I thought it was going. It don't look like it's that you're doing that much from up there to the seat going here. But if you measure from the that tip straight up, that's 14 inches across there. But anyhow, I'll get more into the subsoil once I get to using it. But yeah, that's all that is. Ain't, ain't, ain't much to it. I got to fix I got to work on these final drives back here in the wintertime. It gets cold and in the shop. I ain't got much video going on too. I got my pickup truck here here tore tore apart doing a motor rebuilding a motor re I got another motor I'm rebuilding. I ain't gonna swap my old one out. I got a lot of big big operation going on there. I ain't even doing much with the tractor. The power ties. But um I'm gonna do a Review too on some of this agri supply stuff. I mean, getting. But I'm gonna give me a set of agri supply on as soon as I go that way. About an hour from me. I ain't gonna make a special trip down there if I don't got to. You gotta get a list together. And anyway, like and subscribe more. Farm James, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like my content.